Uh, okay, James, well, welcome. Uh, James is a director and chief evangelist at uh, Intel Corporation and just gave a keynote speech at the uh, OpenMP Calm. Uh, very interesting. And uh, so you mentioned you, you've gone to many customers, get feedback on OpenMP, and you, have you seen uh, OpenMP use on a variety of devices? Uh, what is your experience? Is it, can you already see it uh, going? I think, okay. yeah, there's a lot of interest. Uh, you know, OpenMP is dominant um, for node level programming in HPC. Um, so there's a lot of interest in seeing that stay that way. So, you know, it's got a rich history supporting CPUs and a number of the features added starting in the 4.0 version uh, extend that to GPUs. And I, I see that as a continuing trend because the OpenMP codes that are in the world and the knowledge are, are very important to extend into that space. And I see people uh, starting to do that and I expect to see more of it in the future. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that uh, you would like OpenMP to uh, move, expand from CPUs, GPUs, or FPGAs, embedded systems. Um, and how, how could we best uh, go along to uh, forward that path? Right. I think, I think the two big challenges for OpenMP, one is making sure that they address the ability to use this broad collection of devices efficiently, and the other is to address something I call composability, which is to um, find a way for OpenMP to be uh, easier to mix uh, and match with libraries that use OpenMP, modules that use OpenMP, and mix and match that. Today, it's a little challenging to nest OpenMP and get effective performance. It requires uh, a deeper understanding than of OpenMP than I think uh, that we want to maintain long term. So I think that's a challenge for OpenMP to uh, increase its uh, applicability and teachability in the future. So you think uh, being able to use OpenMP more in modular form that you have bits and pieces in OpenMP and can plug in your program, make it easy to use, more e even more easy to use. Huh? Yes. And if you compare OpenMP and o OpenCL that you mentioned, huh? OpenMP is Pragma-based, uh, so it's and OpenCL is, is a deeper, uh, more intricate word, uh, standard. Well, yeah, OpenCL is different. OpenCL's origins are uh, different than OpenMP. OpenMP's origins are very much HPC, very CPU-centric, and looking to expand. OpenCL comes from a more GPU-centric uh, world, but um, I, would, I would describe it as less abstract than OpenMP. It's, it's lower level. It's uh, a specific design goal it has is to be able to utilize any uh, feature that you may have in your hardware. So it's really well suited to take advantage of special things on GPUs like texture maps or to be able to take advantage of specialty features that might be present in FPGAs. Um, the challenge is because it's lower level, it's not um, as easy to write code that will, that will port. In fact, it's a little bit orthogonal to the goals. Uh, one of the reasons you would use OpenCL is to use features that are unique to a particular piece of hardware. Um, so writing more abstractly so that it ports across a lot of devices is not what I see OpenCL used for primarily in production. So I think OpenMP has a, uh, a different role to play in the industry of being more abstract, a little more hardware agnostic, uh, but has the challenge of stretching across these devices and getting good performance. Yeah, so hopefully we will see OpenMP in getting, uh, expanding FPGA world in the years to come. So, uh, okay. I, I think that's inevitable, but I think it's a very cha uh, big challenge for the industry and one that I think OpenMP will meet eventually. Okay, thank you very much. For your My time. pleasure. Yeah.